Hello friends, and welcome back to another vlog. In this one, we're going to be showing off some new artwork that I have worked on for a couple of months actually, as well as some new merch for the shop and packing some orders. So I hope that you enjoy and we'll go ahead and get started. Of course, the first clip that I want to talk about here is how adorable Caesar is right now. He has been really enjoying that little cat plush pillow and he really likes sleeping on it when he can. So I also happened to make some yummy ramen that day and started to get to work on some artwork after it, of course, some more cat shots. These two are just the best of friends, of course, so. And to preface the next clip, I felt so sad I forgot to film the unboxing because I got so excited, but look at these adorable stickers and art prints from the lovely at Kibo and Friends. Uh, she officially has a shop now, so definitely go check it out and her artwork. It's all beautiful. So yeah, for the first uh, little piece of art that we have here, I actually wanted to do this draw this in your style that I saw for uh, Jisupi. I thought it was really cute and I really like the idea of Lucy being like a little fairy princess in front of a window. So of course had to join in with that. And then for this next section, I actually have a little speed through here of some of the treats that I got for the Tokyo Treat Box. I believe this is for May, I want to say. I could definitely be wrong though. Uh, but yeah, all of the things were really cute and fun. Uh, I still really love the packaging for all of this stuff. It's kind of cool to see how different the styles of designs and everything are for snacks in Japan versus the US. Uh, and as well as trying some of them. So. We'll go ahead and keep going here. So yeah, one of the very first things that I wanted to try was this soda. Uh, it was definitely a different flavor than anything I've had before. It was kind of almost like a melony flavor. Um, but yeah, I tried it along with some of the Pringles and I happened to pour the soda in the cute little cat paw cup that I had. And yeah, altogether it was actually a pretty good combination. And I think that if you wanted to try it for yourself, it might not be a bad idea just to kind of tr try new things. Yeah, I would definitely recommend Tokyo Treat if you're wanting to try some new snacks from Japan and everything. It's actually a really fun little subscription box that comes monthly, so definitely check them out. This next painting was actually for another little draw this in your style that I wanted to join in for. And then this one was actually for Easter, so yes, it was for May. <laughs> These videos are super behind, I'm so sorry guys. Uh, but I really wanted to put Lucy in like a little Easter egg. I think I've done that like a version of that before with a bunny the previous year. Uh, but I wanted to incorporate a new little style for her. Something where it was more happy and cheery, especially because the, the state of the world lately. But yeah, as you can see here, we'll probably have a little bit of a running theme for spring and draw this in your styles in this video. But yeah, I really enjoyed this little spring cottagecore home for Lucy and Lily, one of my new little ghost characters. Uh, and then they came up together again here for another Draw This In Your Style entry along with Stella. So I hope you've enjoyed all the spring uh, themes for this latest video. But yes, needed to include some other yummy snacks. We'll just kind of sprinkle them throughout the video. Uh, these are some donuts that I also wanted to try and they were also very yummy. But on to our next painting. Uh, this one was actually for Kirby and uh, Lucy because I had just started to play the new Kirby game at the time. And yes, definitely a fun game, highly recommended, and a very cute illustration, I hope you think. This next section I was super excited for because I had been wanting to make my own Lucy Plus G for a very long time. And considering how expensive it is to make plushies, I found out, I figured I would start slow and make a Lucy plush pillow instead. So here we have some plush pillows of Lucy from the lovely Vogue Grace, as well as some pins. Um, the pins didn't exactly come out the way that I wanted to, 
but honestly they were still really cute so I do have them available on my shop they're just at a discounted price so we'll go ahead and unbox these But yeah, as you can see, we have a very excited prince here who also wants to check out some of the new Lucy products. But yeah, the pins were just a little bit faded here, as you can see, so that's why they are a little discounted. But I think the message is still something that needs to be shared and a good reminder for people anyway. Yes, on to the main opening. So when I first saw these, I knew that the container was obviously vacuum sealed because they had to fit like six pillows into one little box uh, but it was really fun to see him like actually pop up back to life after opening up the pack so <laughs> I really enjoyed that but yes I think these pillows came out really cute and if you would like one of your own definitely check out my shop uh, I think that you will really enjoy having your own little Lucy pillow to hold and cuddle with and yes not long after we published the listing uh someone actually wanted to buy one of the lucy pillows so thank you so much again for your order uh so yes let's go ahead and enjoy a little packing video here With that she is ready to be shipped so yes this is actually nearing the end of the video guys i really hope you enjoyed uh please leave a like or subscribe if you'd like to see more and i hope to see you all again soon have a good day